scenario, we're going to use uh, dura prep for an abdominal prep. We would want to, of course, make sure that we check our patient's allergies again. Dura prep is a product that contains uh, betadine or povidone iodine, which is the iota four, and it contains alcohol in it. Uh, with dura prep. You, um, the one thing that's unique about that is that you can go over an area that you have missed with the sponge. And um, this kit is going to come with a DuraPrep wand and it's going to come with two Q-tips that you're going to clean the umbilicus with because this is going to be an abdominal prep. Now our parameters for abdominal prep are bedline to bedline, nipples to pubis. And so the first thing I'm going to do is open the kit and you don't have to wear gloves with this. You just have to be careful not to contaminate it. I'm going to pick up my wand and what you want to do then is snap your wand and you'll hear it snap. Wait for the betadine to come on the pad and then you're going to pick up your q-tips and you can use both at the same time or one at a time. Um, really will probably depend on the size of the umbilicus, the size of the patient you're doing. And I'm not going to really use this on this mannequin because we probably wouldn't get it off. But I would then um, get my Q-tips full of the DuraPrep solution and I'm going to clean the umbilicus. You can just stick those back in your kit and then I'm going to start at the incision area. In this case we're going to say it's a midline incision. If it were the appendix, an open appendix, we would start a little bit over in the right lower quadrant. If it were a gallbladder, we would start up here. So we're going to say it's midline, so I'm going to start like this and I'm just going to go in a circular motion to the periphery, nipples to pubis, bedline to bedline. Now, if you touch the linen in any way, you have to get rid of the wand and then you would have to start over. But let's say that I missed a spot, I could come back and get it at the end. Um, you can do that with DuraPrep, you can do it with Chloroprep. Now, both of these preps contain alcohol and so the rule is that we want to let it dry probably three to five minutes before we would put the drapes on and before we would use any kind of cautery. And that's it. That's all there is really to an abdominal prep.